Before the video begins, I got some news for you guys about Mesa Arc wiping July 29th, and that's that we finally got a tribe damage leaderboard as well as a player leaderboard with showing their kills and all of that. It's all on the website. Tons of hype is being built around this season with 400 people clicking on the interested button and we got people joining the Discord every single minute of the day. Our shop is looking beautiful with some text to describe it. The top donator will be showcased and the community goal for each wipe. We also have some packages like the whitelist and the MVP for very cheap prices and loot boxes are enabled day two. You can also buy points to then farm tributes easier. Get your tribe together. Link down below in the description to the Discord. Join it right now. The shop is also there as well as the website. In today's video, I present to you Tribe Wars. The Spanish art community of YouTubers invited me to join them on a special event where four tribes, one of each biome, lava, desert, redwoods, and the snow. Each tribe consists of five PvE and PvP YouTubers or streamers. In the first hour, only PvE. The second hour, we can open world PvP. And in the third and final hour, we can raid each other. Leave a like if you enjoy. And if we reach 2024 hours, I will drop another video right after. We start off in the beach on our volcano biome, inviting every tribe mate into the tribe. Immediately, I started farming flint, and I left a couple levels of my character because I really didn't know how to level it. Some more tribe mates started spawning in, so let's invite them as well. And back to farming some materials. Our first bits of hide would be from a parasaur as we spotted it ahead of us and everybody started targeting it. My tribe ran in front of me on the parasaur and I headshotted him, so yeah, that's the first kill of the tournament. Now we're killing a Rex for a lot more hide. I told everybody to craft 5 forges so that that we have 25 forges since we're a 5 man tribe. Early on I also found some bugs that I could use for the saddle of the PT. We ran uphill until eventually we found a nice little spot to settle up for a little bit, get some forges going and some metal. Uh, there is a camera here. <laughs> the good thing about the spot is that it had crystal right next to it and if i ran through the tunnel there was also a river of lava with lots of metal around it and Anki was conveniently walking around next to our base so i knocked it out and tamed it later it would give us tons of metal but now it would give us tons of narco berries not too long after i found an rg trapped it and knocked it out too with the glitch so that it would tame instantly before starting to farm i took it upon myself to find a good spot for a base and i flew around and around i couldn't find anything too good but eventually i had to settle for this which was pretty decent later in the video you might see a cave or a better location but i was told no caves and no spots that were high like top of mountains or pillars <laughs> As you can see, one of my tribe mates had a lot of energy. That guy was funny too. Anyways, I'm over here trying to kill a mantis to get some poly. I ended up getting like 8 poly. Back at base, I crafted a 3x3 and started building our base up. Honestly, I recommend a 2x2. I think a 3x3 is a bit too big. But whatever. I thought for a second that was an official. Alright, one more ceiling and the base is complete. Knocked out another RG. And now I'm in the desert and looks for a Lemantria to get silk so we have a whip. But of course, this map was very tiny. And with 20 people playing on it, it was very hard to avoid all of them. And I got into trouble. Walking to the side, he hits a very nice ball on me, but I can shield, he tries to trank me, and I just have to eat stem berries to counter that. When I get back on my PT, it can't move because it's overweight from the stone that I had whipped up. I quickly dropped all of it, got back on my PT, fed his stem berries before it fell asleep, and got away. Scorpion, if you harvest that, I'm murdering your entire family. Yo, that's a lot of poly. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Look at this Primlock bot. What is he doing? Tío, tío, no, tío. Oof. I continued killing mantises, but without any luck, as none of them gave me polymer, no matter what I harvested it with. A PT, club, didn't matter. So, I guess I'll have to team a moss chops. 
Still roaming the desert for mantises, I found another guy running around. This guy's a freak. Did he miss the jump? Oh, these guys have turrets. Alright, he doesn't want to. He refuses to die. I'm out. My goal was to get a quick kill on that guy, but since he took so much fall damage and still didn't die, I left him alone. I went on a long search for oil until I found a little bit of it, and right next to it would be the snow base. I scouted it for a little bit, wasn't sure if they had turrets, but I didn't want to find out the hard way, so I took a left and flew away. And that's when I found this guy on a megatherium. Now, I went for a quick c-spin to the ground, hopefully killing him. It didn't. So now I'm leaving before the entire snow tribe is on my ass. I didn't get enough oil from that rig, so I found a little lake with oil underneath. Finally, have done a full loop around the map on my way back to base, and I see this guy in a PT who I want to PvP. But the guy is very patient, takes his time, and is very annoying to fight. That's when I decide to leave, and it was too late. A whole tribe was now here. Master speed. Okay, there's three. He put it to sleep bro my pt was now sleeping i tried to run away but of course a pt is faster and while landing without a shield i got bolded can't repair it no way bro. Uh. it's fine though we just lost some oil we're now taming up mod shops so that we can actually get poly, and I'll go by and get some oil again. I was also lucky enough to fly by a lake, which had beaver dams, gave us a nice bit of paste. Finally, we're back at base. They started upgrading the base to metal, which I don't fully agree on. We should have turrets before metal, but let them do their thing. I took out the metal foundation so I could put the jenny, so it's sad that we wasted that bit of metal, but it's fine. No, paren de pagar esto. Pero cerrar la puerta que entra. Que hay una puerta por este lado, boludo. Pero que esta puerta, coño, cerrar esta puerta. Eventually, we got our first turret. Things were seemingly very bad because we were about to get wiped, but quickly we then got four. A guy started scouting us. I went to PvP him. I pick him off the PT and C spin him into a very dangerous area. Then I bola him, I start hitting him with a long neck, and when his legs are broken, he one taps me. At this point, we're taking a lot of L's, but we keep going. Now we're killing trilobites, as well as animals for some hide. I put a bunch of other forges so that we can start getting metal a lot quicker. And so that the forges can smelt metal while well, they need metal, so I also went on a metal run. Right after, I got one of my tribe mates to sit on the Yankee, and we farmed flint and stone. I didn't stop at that, I crafted even more forges, having like 30, so we could really get at that indie forge a lot quicker. Started farming pearls along in the river, so that we could get more electronics, we were running low. Along my ways, I also found PTs, which I knocked out and started taming, so that everybody could be on a flyer instead of running around. Hey! Oh, eh, 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 eh. They tried to C-spin our base. Well, that's what I thought at first. But then there were no explosives on them, so I don't know what happened. Indie Forge Tech. Got a nice Stego crafted saddle. And now that we had heavies outside our base, we can start upgrading the base to metal. Bro, Mantis have legit now spawned again. I went back to the desert, this time with the mouse chops. Unluckily enough, there were no Mantis, hmm. but there were players, and lots of them.
Yeah, I don't know how I missed that net either. Finally, out of parachutes, I disconnected and reconnected just to not die to fall damage. Near the end, I was told that cooking pots actually give med brews with just tinto berries, which would have been nice to know earlier, but now we're crafting and we'll be fine now with HP. Went straight back to farming more metal and right about five hours into the tournament, they said that we have to actually make a move and raid each other so the forest or redwoods tribe would now be fobbing us, the tribe of lava. So we're taming owls so that hopefully we could dive into their base. However, before we do that, we need C4. So I'm going to have to go to base, hide the owl, get C4, and then leave again without them noticing. Por todos lados están dando. Claro. Es que están disparando estas torretas, pero claro. No claro, está. claro. Ah, que lo veo. Dios mío. Dios. Están, están, nos están lanzando esto. Ah, por culo. Me estoy muriendo. ¿Cómo no está muerto, loco? ¿Qué le pasa? Voy para, voy para a madre. Lutealo tú, lutealo tú. That guy's flag was insane, which would be really helpful for me to run the turret now. I ran out of base without anybody seeing me, and now I'm at the top. I'm gonna fly in. They shouldn't be here because they're busy trying to raid us, so hopefully we get this. Just like that, I had lost all hope. That guy defended really good, and he was at the right place at the right time, unluckily enough. I was hoping that they wouldn't be at base, but they were, and he netted me right in front of the last turret I had to take out. And now we're back at our base. We're mostly prim locked, but I'm gonna try to keep defending until the end. <laughs> Eventually though, after putting up a fight, my luck would once again run out and outnumbered. I'd die. 